All right, everybody. Welcome back to Cliff's Backyard Garage. I'm back on the S10 again, and uh, as you can see, I got a tailgate, a new tailgate in for the S10. Went ahead and sanded it down. I decided to go with a new one because uh, the old one I was going to put the uh, shave door handle kit in, but after pricing it around, getting somebody to weld that on for me, it was cheaper for me just to buy a new one and give whoever buys the s10 the shave door handle kit and they can do it themselves you know yeah i didn't decide to sell the s10 i was up in the air about it i wanted to keep it but i got another one i got another project going right now i think i like it a little better but uh i'm gonna go ahead and shoot some primer on this thing and uh in this video, which is the final part of the painting body, I will give you guys let you guys have a picture of uh, what it looks like. Might shoot a little video over there at the paint uh, paint shop where it's going to be going. But uh, yeah, this is going to be it for the S10. I'm going to just finish up the body work, send it to the paint shop, let it get painted, and send her on down the road. Alrighty, I'm going to shoot some primer on here. I'll be back and then uh, once the primer is all good and done, we'll start on the roll pan. Well, the tailgates is all primed up and uh, I'm going to move on over now while this is doing this little dry thing. And uh, go ahead and uh, do that trim I talked about on the, uh, the roll pan. Alright, let's get on over there and let's start on that. Alright, I apologize for the wind. As soon as I start recording, it starts blowing. But uh, alright, here's the tailgate. I don't know if you guys remember, but I was telling you this flange here was was bent too far back. It should have been bent flush right here where this notch is at. I don't know if you guys can see that. Let's see if I can shed some light on the situation. Yeah. Uh, it should have been bent right here, but they started bending it way back. So I'm going to run a line across with my ruler cut this whole piece off all the way across and uh, I have a piece of angle iron and I'm going to angle in well not angle in <laughs> I have a piece of angle iron that I'm going to um, rivet in its place so it can kind of suck up this uh, which just sticks out a little too far you know it's out about as much as that gap is over here that is about as much as it is out here so I need to cut that off and bring it in a little bit so I'm going to run and grab some things uh, some cut off wheels so I can get that done alright we'll be back uh, I like to say this will be the final of the paint and body special so like I said before S10 has got to go I got another project got to get it going alright go get those tools and stuff and I'll be back Okay, everybody, I got the roll pan off. Got it sitting up on my uh, little workbench here. This is my scooter shed, man. This is where uh, I rehab old busted Chinese scooters and uh, put everything back together and make a couple bucks. But, yep, I got the S10 roll pan sitting over here. Let me go ahead and set you guys up right there. Show you what I got going on. All right. So, I had to go to Walmart and get me another uh, ruler. One wasn't long enough, so I taped the two together. And um, what I'm going to do now is go ahead and just cut the back flange off. That way I can get my ruler in here, clamp it down in place, make me a line so I can uh, cut the rest of the flange off. I got a little bit of uh, angle iron out here. I'm going to cut. And uh, we're going to just rivet it right on here you know gonna put a couple rivets on it i'm gonna go out here and test it out on this on the s10 and see if we're close you know what i'm saying because uh i don't know if you guys remember the problem i was having was this bracket here is bent too far out so the uh roll pan stuck out about as much as this space is here between here and there that's how much it stuck out on this side. So I'm just going to cut that off and go ahead and uh, put some angle iron on it, rivet it to it. And we can go ahead and get this S10 on out the way because I need to go ahead and move this thing because I got another project that uh, 
probably going to keep, but I need to go ahead and get to it before. So I can bring it home. I don't have enough room here. All right, so I'm going to cut you guys off. I'm going to go ahead and uh, cut that, cut this bracket off. And I'll bring you guys back in. Okay, I got that uh, flange cut off on both sides. So now I can get in here and mark the line so I can trim off the rest of it. Had to make it a whole lot easier making this line with that flange going. So that's why I went ahead and cut it off. So I'm going to go ahead and mark this line, get this trimmed up, cut the angle line, then uh, we'll go set it up on the S10 and see how it fits. All right, be back in one sec. All right, I got my line marked. I said I was going to come back after I marked the line and cut it off, but nah, I just forgot. And remember what I said. But yeah, I got my line marked, so go ahead and cut it off now. Get this thing done. Okay, I'm back. I got the uh, roll pan on and the uh, new tailgate door. I mean, the roll pan, I went ahead and made my adjustments. I put the little uh, hill bracket on. And a uh, oil bracket, angle iron, whatever. I put it on and uh, I used some self tappers because I wanted to be able to adjust it. So, as you can see, it's pretty good. I mean, I can live with it. Looks pretty good. You can see down that seam is pretty uniform. It looks pretty good. Yeah, I can live with that. And uh, only issue I'm having now is the new Chinesium tailgate um, has a little bit of alignment issues but uh, I know what the problem is that I can take care of that and uh, I got a little bit of a dent that was there when it came so I'm just gonna grind that out hit it over with the old Bondo you know but uh, overall man I like it you know it looks good so what I'm going to do with the old tin I'm going to go ahead and finish a little bit of body work it's just mostly some sand and this stuff that needs to go down not too much you know put the grill back in I still gotta deal with the roof issue but uh yeah, I'm saying, it's at the home run stretch. Now, I was going to paint the tin, but... And I got another project. You know, because I was kind of up in the air whether I want to keep this truck or not. But, now nah, I made my mind up, man. I'm going to go ahead and let her go on down the road. So, this is the end of the S10 saga. I will... You know put a picture of it in uh, my next video when it's all when the paint body's all said and done you know just let you guys know how it turned out but um yeah i mean thanks for watching this and coming along on this trip with me on this s10 but uh like i said i'm i'm pleased with it you know for some amateur body work you know i did pretty good and if i can toot my own horn pat myself on the back you know what i'm saying but uh yeah this is it on the s10 guys got a surprise on the next one well some people that know me in real life are really gonna be surprised at the next one is way out of my wheelhouse but yeah like i gotta say thank you guys for watching and if you're not subscribed please do so like and comment and share the video with your friends or just share it in general I'm trying to build this little channel up but yeah, I will come back and provide you guys with a picture of how the tin turned out. Now that door handle there, one more, the tailgate handle. I am going to replace the tailgate handle. I mean, it was already kitty wampus for before I put it in this one, but I wanted to stick it up there and see how it looked. And uh, like I can say, I'm impressed. All right, guys, I'm gonna see you on the next video. Remember, like, share, subscribe, and comment. And thank you for watching Cliff's Backyard Garage.